Hey folks, today's a good day. It's a good day for another Throw It On Thursday. Today I'm gonna throw some chicken on. Recently, a couple guys I watch on YouTube made chicken dishes. One of the guys, Sam the Cooking Guy, made an incredible looking dish. It actually had a Berblanc sauce on it. A Berblanc sauce is a butter sauce. And you know what? I've never made that sauce before. There's a place here in town called Backyard Bar and Grill. They have an almond crusted chicken dish that also has a Berblanc sauce on it. I figured, what the heck? I'm gonna go give that place a try again, try out their almond crusted chicken, and maybe try to make it here. So, let's head to Backyard. And just like that, we're at the Backyard Grill and Bar. Casual dining, serious food. I know exactly what I want. It's the almond crusted chicken. <laughs> I'm starting with a salad with some Thousand Island dressing on the side. So here we are, the almond crusted chicken. It's quite different than I recall. It has a Berblanc sauce on it. I'll give it a try. Not as good as I remember. This has a hazelnut liqueur Berblanc sauce. I think I might make something similar. Well, that was the almond crusted chicken here at Backyard Grill and Bar. It's been a while since I've had it. To me, it seems a little lacking in flavor. Not a lot of spice in it, so I might kick up the spice a bit and have a couple good ideas. But if you're ever in the Fond du Lac area, Backyard's a place to go. They have a lot of good stuff on their menu and an incredible beer selection in the bar. I'm back home from Backyard and I'm ready to try to make this chicken dish. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be coating mine with almonds. I noticed Backyard's dish didn't have a lot of almonds on it, so I'm gonna bump up the almond content. Also, I mentioned the flavor was a little muted. Not a lot of spice in it, so I'm gonna bump up that spice with some Slap Ya Mama. My favorite Cajun seasoning. And just because I saw another YouTuber use Parmesan cheese in his chicken coating, I'm also gonna be using some Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna grate this stuff fresh right into the breading and maybe even put some on top. First, the almonds. My sister gave me this bag of almonds. They are really tasty. They're not salted, they're just nice almonds. Whoop. That's making a mess. About a half cup of those. I have some low carb pork panko. This is basically just fried pork rinds. Let's put a half a cup of these in there. Time for the Parmesan. I'm gonna just grate this directly in there. Maybe about a half a cup. This should bump up the salt flavor a little bit. And also, as it melts, it'll help bind it together a little better. That should be plenty. Now, a good amount of Slap Ya Mama. That's looking good. Not very fine. Some chunks of almond still in there. I've never made a Berblanc sauce before, but it's a butter sauce, a French butter sauce. To make it, we are going to finely mince a shallot, add some dry white wine, or in this case, I'm gonna be using vermouth, some white wine vinegar, pepper, and then put a little lime zest in it. Let's give this a shot. Let's finely mince some of this shallot. Mincing shallots really gives off a nice smell. Sort of a combination of onion and garlic. Looking pretty good. For the coating or breading, we're gonna start with an egg. I'm only gonna be making one chicken breast today. This is gonna be my lunch. I have a nice chicken breast, deboned and no skin on it. Let's throw that in the egg. Make sure it's nice and coated. 
Now into the almonds. I'm going to make sure this is coated really good. I'm going to cook this in the air fryer at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. I'll check the temp. If it needs a little more time, we'll, we'll let it in there a little longer. Let's start the Berlanc. Quarter cup of white wine, or in this case, vermouth. Quarter cup of white wine vinegar. Now I'm going to add the shallots. And we're going to let that reduce to about a couple tablespoons. That's looking nicely reduced. Time to start adding the butter. We want to add the butter one little piece at a time and keep mixing it. Make the butter melt nice and slow. This is really cold butter. I'm really supposed to be using a whisk here, but I don't have a small enough whisk for this small pan. When the butter melts, just add another one and again, slowly melt that in. We're going to keep mixing it so it doesn't break. We don't want an oily scum on here. We want it to be all nice and creamy. I highly recommend you check out uh, Sam the Cooking Guy's video where he made this Berblanc. He had a nice time crunch. He was trying to do it in 15 minutes. It's a very entertaining cooking video. This timing's working out really good. The chicken is almost done. Okay, the air fryer is telling me 15 minutes are up. I'm going to check the temp and hopefully we're ready. Going to season with a little white pepper. I use salted butter, so I'm not going to add any extra salt. Now, a little zest of lemon. Boy, as soon as I put that lemon in there, that fragrance came out. Boy, it smells good. For a little color, I got some chopped up parsley. I think we're ready to plate this chicken and give it a try. I think I say this every time on Throw It On Thursday, but this is my favorite part of the day when I get to try what I made. Almond Parmesan Crusted Chicken. So good. Wow. That Berblanc sauce on there, creamy, buttery. It's got more seasoning in there with that Slap Your Mama. Lots of almonds on here. You can really feel the crunch. It's really good. Mmm. I'm getting hit with a little lemon. And I think that Parmesan helped hold some of this together and gave it a little salty kick, too. I'm going to have the recipe in the description. Give it a try. I think you're really going to like it. Thanks for being with me on this Throw It On Thursday. I really appreciate every time you click that button and watch one of my videos. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It doesn't cost a thing and you'll get notified when I put out a new video. If you're ever in the Fond du Lac, Wisconsin area, check out Backyard Grill and Bar. They really do have a lot of good food there. As usual, I had a really good day today on this Throw It On Thursday. I hope whatever you're doing, you're also having a good day. See you next time. Mm.